Good morning, it is just past 7 o'clock on a Monday morning. I am Katie and this is my first ever weekly vlog. So I am actually a primary school teacher, I work at an international school in a city called Tianjin which is just outside of Beijing in China and so yes, yeah, so it's Monday morning and I'm heading to work and I thought I would kind of show you what my week is like and I hope you enjoy it so let's go. Right, so I'm at school now and I just kind of thought I would stop and talk to you a little bit about me and kind of what I do I guess, kind of like introduce myself. Um, so I am a teacher, I work at a school in Tianjin, China. Me and my husband have lived in China now for just over a year. This is my second, the start of my second year um, working at an international school and my children are great. I really enjoy working here actually, it's a really... It's a really great experience, it's very different to working in England, um, but I'll talk to you kind of more about that as the weeks go on I guess. Um, and yeah, so I kind of, I wanted to share with you what my life was like and what I am about. So me and my husband, we got married before we moved abroad um, and we've been engaged for five years, four years previously and we have been running a travel blog called Creative Travel Guide now for about three years and we really enjoy writing about travel. Um, I tend to do more of the writing and Callum tends to do more of the filming and editing for the videos for our like YouTube channel and he does all the photo editing, things like that. Um, and yeah, I really enjoy Creative Travel Guide. It's something that we've really enjoyed building up together. But I just kind of thought... I love travel and I love sharing travel and there will be lots of travel videos on here but I also kind of wanted to show you a little bit more about who I am and, and what my other interests are besides travel. So I guess kind of that's what this channel is going to be about in the long run. I don't, I'll be honest, I'm kind of going at this with a let's try it and see what happens. I don't know if, <laughs> if it will work. I don't know if my life is actually that interesting enough um, but we'll see. <laughs> So yeah, so it's a Monday today and I have a fairly quiet day actually. I do have a meeting, a staff meeting to go to soon and I have just remembered that I am meant to be talking in the staff meeting. I hate talking in front of all the staff, it's just always awkward. Anyway, that's my day. We'll see how it goes. I hope this is somewhat interesting and uh, yeah, probably just set up my classroom quickly before I run to this meeting. See you in a bit. <laughs> So the kids are in Mandarin, it is 20 past 11, I've just put my contact lenses in. Does anyone else have this like when they wear contact lenses? In the morning if my eyes are tired I just can't put them in. So I managed to put them in but I've now got like really annoying glass marks on my nose. Anyway so I have a free period now so I'm just going to crack on with some lesson planning and then it is lunch time. Right, so it's nearly six o'clock and I'm actually just on my way home now. After school today I had prep time and then I had a bit of time to just get on with some work and then I had a safeguarding meeting pretty much until quarter six so just grab my stuff and heading home now. I'm tired, I must say like does anyone have this like on a Monday? I just get so tired. Like, <laughs> I sound really old, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just tired. I'm looking forward to having a good night's sleep tonight. Me and Callum are gonna relax and so I don't even really know what to watch. Like, sorry, it's quite noisy because I'm in the traffic, but I'm in a Diddy, which is like the Chinese version of Uber, um, but it's like super cheap. Um, so my journey from school to my home is like 10 to 15 minutes. It's about 10 minutes, depending on traffic, and it costs like the equivalent of like a dollar or well just over a dollar but like 90p a pound ish it's pretty cheap um so <laughs> um yeah so heading home now i don't really want to watch this week so me and callum last week we were watching sneaky peek i've never seen it before so we watched the first season of that we have got season two but callum has watched it recently because he watched it before me so we're not gonna watch that just yet so i don't really know what to watch 
have a look. If you have any good recommendations of TV programmes, let me know because it's all kind of low on choices at the moment. Anyway, so I'm heading back. I had a really productive day actually, the kids were really cute today, they were good fun, um, they did like their assessments, but it was quite nice because in between doing assessments we liked little dances and went out and had a little extra play time, so that was nice. Um, Karen just texted me just now, we went to see Wolf Alice a few weeks ago in Beijing and he just texted me saying, would you want to see them again? So I don't know if they're coming back to Beijing, fingers crossed, because that was a really cool concert, um, but we are also going back to London at Christmas so it might be that there I'm not sure I'll ask him when he gets back when I get back from home yeah Monday six o'clock ready for dinner ready for bed so one thing I really love about Tianjin in September is the air so in August it was like 38 degrees yeah China in summer is hot we learned that the hard way we went traveling around it was hot but uh September it's cooler it's like 27, 28 degrees, and it's still sunny, the pollution isn't too bad, so I can't, I can't really complain. September is a good time in Tianjin. Can we just take a moment to look at these cute dogs? Look how small they are. So I am home and I am making fajitas. So fajitas are like one of my favorite dishes um, to make, and I think I mentioned it this morning, but for a long time, it was a real struggle to get fajitas here in um, China. So they have like these mission wraps, um, like the ones that we have in the UK, but like, I don't know, they, I, think they, I think they were like imported from England, which meant that like, I don't know, they were just really hard, like they tasted like cardboard. I just wasn't a fan. So anyway, Metro, which is uh, one of the shops that we shop at, have like introduced these, like frozen wraps and they taste really good and um, because we have an oven now um, we just kind of put them in some foil and cook them up before we have dinner so I'm looking forward to that and for fajita mixes I must be honest for some time I use fajita or El Paso fajita mix because at Christmas we went back to the UK and I stocked up <laughs> To be honest, this is the type of thing we do when we live in China. Is we went home for Christmas with our family, and our suitcase on the way back was full of things that we miss. So like, like English chocolate, so like Galaxy Dairy Milk, we don't have here. So that was like my suitcase was full of that, and then like old El Paso um, fajita mix, just like random stuff like that. Nando sauce, we actually have, and we still have it because we stocked up on quite a bit. We actually have like actual <laughs> Nando's peri peri sauce that we like stocked up on um, when we were in England and we bought like the small bottles in case they smashed and like bubble wrap, it was like ridiculous, they were in so many layers of clothes. Um, <laughs> so we do have things like that in our cupboards. Um, but yeah, so I used the heater mix for some time and then I went out and it was super sad. So I've now kind of made my own <laughs> I looked at recipes online and a lot of the ingredients we didn't really have here. Plus, I'm not a massive fan of spicy food, so I kind of make my own fajita wrap, like fajita mix. I will show you now. And this is my fajita mix. I have got some chopped tomatoes in here, some salt, a bit of pepper, and some paprika. And I literally just mix it up. And then when the peppers, I've got some peppers and onions in here, just kind of like running away. I make enough fajitas so that Callum has um, some mix for the next day. That's probably nearly done actually. I quite like them char grilled, like, you know, nice and cooked. Um, so I make enough of this so that Callum can have some for the following day. So once that's looking nearly done, I just throw this in here and it tastes pretty good. We have like avocado. They For ages we couldn't find avocado in China, but now we have avocado. So we have avocado here. And for cheese, from Metro you can get like big things of cheddar, but we haven't been. Uh, we were gonna go on the weekend and we both got sick. So instead, I have gone with the Fancy Shreds mozzarella cheese, which is like, I don't know, it says it's made in the USA. Is this a thing in America? If you were watching this and you are American, do you have something like this in America? I've never seen it before. But I mean, it doesn't taste too bad, so always good. But yes, yeah, so we have some mozzarella cheese. We have avocado, salsa, pepper, onion, and the chicken is cooking in the oven. Good morning, it is Tuesday 
you today and I'm back in the classroom and I'm looking forward to another day. Uh, so today, we have a look at my timetable. Today is a, a fairly quiet morning actually. We have double science and it's the first actual science lesson we've got so it would just be kind of introducing what a scientific process is and doing bits and bobs like setting up our books and stuff like that so it's quite a normal quiet science class in fact actually we have got some like fun different silly experiments that we're going to be using to teach them about fair tests that should be fun um and then i have a free period so the children have mandarin so i have a free period then and then this afternoon we have maths um and because we did a test yesterday we're doing our mental maths today so that should be fun and we have library and spelling. So we have a library at our school and we have a slot every week where the children can go up to the library. But today is a, a long day. So after that, the children have prep time and during prep time, I go up to the senior school because I'm gonna be organizing a dance leadership thing with the senior school children. And then after that, I then come back downstairs and do my own ASA. <laughs> um, and I'm actually doing a musical ASA this term. And um, yeah, I think it's, I've got like, got like 27 children that have signed up. So it's a popular one and it should be a really busy one. So fingers crossed, I'm sure it will go fine. But it's the first kind of like, ASA is like after school activity, by the way. I hadn't really made that very clear. Um, so it's a long one. So then we finish that about quarter to five. Something I did actually just remember that is very different to the UK. I've decided this vlog is just going to be like a comparison of what life in China and life in the UK is like. Um, something that's really different to uh, the UK is we have a meet the parents tomorrow. Um, so it's not like a parents evening, it's like a session where all the parents come in to meet the... It's not meet the parents, it's called meet the teacher. So meet the teacher evening. So the parents come in and meet the teacher and see what they're like. And I just realised I've got a note on my desk <laughs> from my colleague saying, Hi, have we booked the Korean translator yet? I need to book a, we have like uh, Korean teachers in our school. Predominantly our children at our school are Chinese or Korean or European. And um, the Europeans generally, the parents can speak pretty good English. Um, but we have a lot of Koreans, so we need to get a Korean translator. And then we have Chinese TAs, so they translated to Chinese for us. So there you go, you don't often have to get a translator for Parents' Evening in England, but you do here. I'll do that now, shall I? Another thing that is different to the UK... Hang on, I'm going to turn my music off. Another thing that is different to the UK is homework. So our children at our school, the parents really love it when you give them lots of homework. And so do the children. I think, I think the reason being is in the Chinese local schools, they have about eight hours of homework each week for like each subject they do. And I know that for the Mandarin here, they get a lot of homework as well. But uh, <laughs> so we, so like last year we didn't give them loads of homework. They had like a bit of spelling and a project for their inquiry. But now we have to give them weekly homework. So that is what I'm doing now because I need to give them some homework for this week. I don't know. What's your thoughts on homework? If you're a parent, actually, I would like to know particularly if you're a teacher, great. Tell me what your, what your like, experience is. Do you give like, homework that often? But particularly if you're a parent, like, what do you think about homework? Woohoo! Twinkle! So this is the trusted Twinkle website that if you do not know about this in your in education, you are missing out. This has like every resource you could ever imagine or want all in one place. And it is the end of the day. <laughs> I am absolutely knackered. It's like 10 past five. I want to Skype my mum today. My mum just came back from Paris. Um, she is retired and she is in a rock, she was in a, she's in a rock choir. <laughs> and she is so cute, bless her. So they went to Disneyland Paris and performed in Disneyland Paris. And she had a few days there. Um, so I want to go home and Skype her and talk to her about how it was. Or at least manage to reach at her. Um, <laughs> because I just haven't stopped. Like, I felt like this week I haven't stopped. So I wanted to catch up with her. I'm not sure what I'm having for dinner tonight. I think we've got chicken out this morning. So it's either curry or I might make fajitas again. Because they were really good last night. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna order a Diddy and head home because I am super tired um, and I haven't managed to actually text Callum back all day. So I hope he thinks, I hope he's not too worried about me. Um, but yeah, heading home, booking Diddy. Right, so I'm just in the Diddy on the way home now and it has been a long day. I'm going to stop moaning about my day though because I appreciate that most of you watching this probably have had a long day too. Um, but I just wanted to talk about the weather because I'm English, that's what we do, talk about the weather. Um, but I think I mentioned it yesterday actually but in um, Tianjin, in China it gets really warm here during the summer but it's really nice and cool at the moment and there's actually a river, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can see it, but it's just like here. So we live near the river that goes through Tianjin and they have like these river cruises that kind of go along the river. And it's really nice, like it's really nice to go along. So hopefully we can enjoy that at some point whilst it's like when it's cooler. I'm just gonna quickly check the, the temperature. So <laughs> they say it's cool, it's 29 degrees, but it's, it's pretty cool for compared to the summer heat that we've had. But uh, yeah, anyhow, gonna have some dinner, gonna chat to my mum and just relax. Good evening, so it is the evening time, Cam is playing FIFA and I am cooking up some fajitas. I, um, we have like some wraps yet left over from yesterday so we're having a fajita each and I've made like a little mini bowl of nachos uh, here. It's a little bowl of nachos and a fajita so that should be nice and uh, because I've got some extra chicken, Cam can have some lunch tomorrow. We always find that like we prefer having because like you, we can order food, like ordering food here is super cheap to do. Um, but when Callum is like spending the day working, it's just kind of a bit extra hassle for him to, so I'm just checking the food's not burning. It is um, just extra hassle for him to order food in whilst he's working. Ooh. So we prefer to make sure we have some food like left over for the next day. There's quite a bit of chicken, so I might take in some for lunch as well. So yeah, nachos and fajitas. I'm not sure what we're gonna watch. I think it's probably just gonna be YouTube again. I'll be honest, I got in at six o'clock and I slept for an hour. <laughs> I had a nap, I was so tired. And I don't know about anyone else, but like when I get really tired, I just get a headache, it's so frustrating. So I did have a nap, um, but I'm feeling much better now. And uh, so gonna have some dinner, watch some YouTube, and just kind of relax for the evening, I think. I might have a bath at some point as well. So that is Tuesday. <laughs> finished work and I'm in the Diddy on the way home and literally as I got into the car the heavens opened it is tipping down with rain I'm gonna head home and tonight me and Cameron are gonna experiment I think we're gonna try and make some deep dish Chicago style pizzas I'm not sure if it's gonna go well but we have got pasta as a backup we'll see so I am back home and I have mixed together the ingredients for the dough. I've never made deep dish pizza before. And I didn't have any cornmeal. Like, we, I couldn't find any in China. We went to a few different shops before and I couldn't find any. Anyway, so I mixed it together and I let it sit for an hour to rise. And I think I've done it. Like, I think I've, I've put it in a pan and I'm just gonna, we're gonna put mozzarella in the pizza and some bacon, which is just in the oven cooking now and then just have some veg and tomato. So, hopefully it turns out nice. I'm not entirely sure, but the bacon smells good. So, we'll see. So this is the pizza base. I'm not sure if it's like the way it should be. It looks a bit like the pictures. I tried to make sure that the edges were up and it was flat down here, but it's quite difficult to do. And originally I started like rolling it out with a rolling pin and then it just wasn't working and it kept ripping. So then I Googled and apparently you're not, you're meant to push it like this. Apparently that's the technique, so we will see. A little bit of dough there. And this is my finished deep dish pizza. Well, it's not finished, it hasn't cooked yet, but I have got some mushroom and pepper and onion and bacon in there. So hopefully it will taste good. Um, I'm gonna put it in the oven like this and then put a bit of cheese on the top afterwards but I did have a layer of cheese underneath as well because apparently that's how you're meant to do them. 
and our pizza pie is ready. So I sprinkled a bit of mozzarella on the top just because I love cheese. But I was told that you have to wait for this crust to go like a golden brown colour. And it looks like it has. Success! So I'm finally at school and I am going to set up the classroom. I'm a little bit late to say, normally I like to come in at like 5 past 7, 10 past 7, but I had a bit of a lay in. I was really being calm, like I stayed up till like 2 o'clock in the morning last night. Just looking at random stuff online, because I'm watching random YouTube videos. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm <laughs> going to set up the classroom, I'm going to photocopy some bits and bobs for my first lesson, which is math, and I will see you in a little while. So it is Thursday, the week has flown by, and we are in a Joy City, which is a shopping mall, and I've just had my hair cut. What do we think? I think I really like it actually. I had the last time, I had the same woman last time and she cut it okay but she didn't straighten it and it like got really fuzzy and then the ends were really fluffy. So this time she straightened it for me. Um, we just use like um, like Google Translate and old photos. Old photos are really helpful when you're trying to explain to somebody who doesn't speak English what hairstyle you want. Old photos are the way forward. So we are in Joy City, we're gonna wander around we might pop down to BLT, which is like a Western food uh, like uh, mall, like shop thing, like a supermarket. That's what I'm looking for. Um, we might have a little wander around. I don't know if we fancy dinner or not. We're umming and ahhing. There's like a Thai restaurant that's new here, so we're going to have a look at that. But it's normally really busy during the week, so we're going to have a little look and see. But I shall see you in a little while. We have found the Thai restaurant, so aptly named Thai Thai. So we are going to, we've actually just um, waited. Here they have like a system where you can say how many people you want and they'll give you like a little ticket that looks like this. Um, and I'm just like literally sitting outside the front. It's quite quiet in like the mall today. We were saying how really quiet it is here. Um, but the actual restaurant's really busy because it's fairly new. That tends to be what happens if it's a new restaurant, it's normally quite busy. I'm looking forward to having some Thai curry. I haven't had it in ages, so it should be good. Look how cool this light is. We have just ordered our dishes. We've ordered a Mataman curry with chicken and some vegetables. Um, actually, and it's, not, it's quite interesting because in Thailand, obviously, you just order the dishes. Like when we were in Thailand, that's what we did. Um, here, they kind of do it in like a hot pot style. A hot pot style. So here in Tha in China, um, you have a hot pot, which is a really popular dish here, and you can choose what flavour you want for your hot pot, what meat, what veg, everything comes in, and it's kind of like a style where you choose your own type of thing. So they've kind of done a curry in a similar manner. So you like choose what curry um, like paste you want, and then you choose what meat you want, and then your vegetables as well. So that's quite interesting. Um, so yes, we've got all of that. We've also ordered some pork belly because we can't go wrong with a bit of pork belly and a bit of sticky rice. So that should be quite nice. I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, one thing I will say as well is we are in our prime place by the very open window. So if you are a um, Westerner in China, often when you go into restaurants, they will put you next to the window. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Sorry, this food is so good that I haven't actually even vlogged what it tastes like. The um, mass man curry is really nice. It's not too spicy, which is quite good because I'm not great with my spicy food, um, but it tastes really good. Um, the sweet corn and the... What are they called? The beans are good, but what's the other one? You, you, the one that you like. Bamboo shoots. I'm going to remember what these are called one day. The bamboo shoots are really good. I was just saying to Callum that we should try and find we should try and find them in our local, like we have a fruit and veg market near our apartment. We should try and find some so that we can cook it when we make curry at home because they taste really nice. Our pork belly has arrived and it looks pretty good. What is this? Pineapple? It's a pineapple. Nice. It looks good. And there's some green sauce, which I'm going to presume that Callum will know. What is it called, Callum? No idea. No idea. I'll let you know on that one. <laughs> so this pork is so good, like it's really soft and tender, hashtag, and it just tastes so good. And the green sauce, I figured out what it was, it is 
like the Thai fish sauce that you get, it's just green. But, like the type of stuff that you normally get in like Thai salads and stuff. But it tastes quite good, Cam really enjoys it. It's a bit spicy for me, I'll be honest, but it's good, it's nice. So in Joy City we have a Pizza Hut Bistro. It's a fancy Pizza Hut. kidneys but we think these might be kidneys hmm so we have finished with our shopping we are outside Joy City now and the metro was really packed there was a queue down so we were like you know what? we're just gonna get a diddy back we literally live up the road <laughs> but like a 10 minute driveway if that so we're just gonna get a diddy back um and there's a nice little lady singing just behind me somewhere around here um yeah so we've got our BLT shopping and I'm looking forward actually to, we've got some, um, <laughs> some camembert cheese, which I'm really looking forward to having. We're going to have it for lunch one, week, one, one of the days of the weekend, so that should be nice. And we've also got some Dr Pepper, which is good because we can never find Dr Pepper here, so that's exciting. Exciting stuff here in China. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> so, had a really busy week at work and it is now Saturday today and it's kind of like three o'clock, so it's the afternoon already. We ended up having a bit of a lying, I must say. We just relaxed. Last night we spent the evening just kind of like looking at bits and bobs. We wanna, we're planning a few things to do in London when we get back at Christmas and we need to kind of figure out if we're gonna see much more of Asia for the rest of the year and that type of stuff. So it's just kind of like travel plans and looking at other youtubers and just kind of relaxing fun full friday evening um and then today we actually have a, a fairly productive day i must say so we had a lay-in and i think i got up at like half 10 and um yeah we relaxed and i ordered a starbucks so one thing actually in china is that you can order anything to your door at any time so we ordered a starbucks this morning so that was nice and then we looked at the computer for a bit because I am obviously I'm filming this for this for our, our, my channel but I haven't actually like set it up while I'm filming this um so this is a brand new channel this is my first weekly vlog and I like didn't really know what to do with my channel so apart from weekly vlogs and kind of talking to you about life in China I have like loads of different interests but me and Callum are trying to like work out what type of stuff to share with you guys about me because none of you probably really care about like my interest in playing old out of date playstation games or <laughs> um like teaching like it's not you know we were kind of just like looking at what types of stuff i can share with you that you would actually enjoy um so we've been looking at that we were kind of looking at like youtube names and um kind of what types of things we can cover and stuff like that. And kind of also showed me how to clear the, um, like to format my camera. So yesterday when I was filming in the taxi on the way home, I had two minutes left on my memory card because I had like just let it, <laughs> I'd been filming for, and we'd had like footage from our holidays on there as well still. And I just carried on filming and hadn't really thought about it. And then it wasn't until this morning when I tried to pick up this camera to film about the Starbucks arriving that I realised that my memory card was completely full. So I, um, so, yeah, so he taught me how to back everything up onto my hard drive and format the camera. So important life lessons. Um, so anyway, so like I said, it's three o'clock and we are going to have a late lunch. We've just ordered a, star a, um, a Subway because I love Subway. Um, so we're gonna have a Subway and we have um, put on some 
if we go out of Subway and I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption. Uh, it's the old one, the new one isn't out yet, but I want to play the new one when it comes out and I've never played the old one, so I'm working my way through Red, De Red, 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 Red Dead Redemption, the old one. And I'm going to play that for half an hour, then we're going to have a eat our Subway and then Callum is going to teach me how to uh, use Final Cut because I have absolutely no clue how to use Final Cut. This place is deserted. I was going to be playing Red Dead Redemption for half an hour and then stop and work all afternoon on the blog. It's two and a half hours later and I've just stopped. Um, <laughs> so we are now going to figure out Final Cut. So Callum uses Final Cut all the time to edit the videos for our channel Creative Travel Guide and I need to attempt to do it. So on the plus side, it's all, all the footage on the hard drive. And I know what my first video is going to be. I'm going to edit the Wolf Alice video from, we, from when we went to go and see them a few weeks ago. And I've managed to open the application, which is a good start. Good afternoon. It is Sunday and it is now kind of getting on to like five o'clock in the evening. So we haven't really vlogged that much today, I'll be honest. I've just been doing some blog work all day. We have a blog called Creative Travel Guide, I'm sure I've mentioned it already this week, and um, I've just been like backed up with kind of posts. So we do um, lots of different like types of posts each week, and I have been doing like this blog post that's just taken forever to write. It's just, you know, you know one of those posts just takes loads of research, and yes, yeah, so it's taken a while, so finally managed to get that up today. Um, so happy with that. But now it's, it's getting to five o'clock, but we are watching the football this afternoon. So the football, the Chelsea game is on at 8.30. So we are going to have a, like a late lunch. We forgot to have lunch today. We had, we slept in, had late, had breakfast late. And now we're having a late lunch. So we ordered some kebab sticks. Um, and so I'm looking forward to them. So we're going to have them for our late lunch. And then I'm going to make some pasta later on when the game is on. Um, and actually tomorrow I have the day off. Woo! It is the Autumn Moon Festival tomorrow. So that should be quite nice. I'm looking forward to having the day off and just relaxing. We are going to really kind of focus on setting up a few different projects that we've been meaning to do. That we just haven't had time to do. Um, and carrying on with some bits and bobs. So should be good. I'm hoping it's a productive day. The pollution has been pretty low. Um, today so I'm hoping it is tomorrow as well and for the rest of the next week as well so it should be good anyway I'm going to stop talking and I am going I'm, I need to do the washing the, the, the clothes washing so that's what I'm going to do now fun times Ni hao. Ni hao. Ah, see, see. so our food has arrived and one thing we love about China is that you can order any type of food that you want off WeChat and it gets to your door in like 30, 45 minutes. This arrived in like 20 minutes. It was really quick. Um, this is where we get like our kebab sticks from. We order from here quite a bit and they always have really good deals on. So we get like six different kebab sticks for 36 RMB. So we've got some chicken ones. We sometimes like, they have like these lamb ones, um, so they're really nice as well. But we've got a chicken one and you can choose like what spice you want. And they have sausage ones, which aren't like English sausages, I must say. But hang on, I will get one out and show you. Mm. These are the sausage ones. Yes, they look unusual, but they're actually surprisingly really nice. Good evening. So it is still Sunday and I've just finished filming a kind of like mini shopping haul for BLT because we bought our Western products from there the other day. So I will have to edit that at some point. I might do that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so my Sunday has kind of been quite a relaxed one. I have tomorrow off from work because it's Autumn Moon Festival. So I'm intending to do my productive working tomorrow. So we did some blog, I did, I did do some blog work this morning to be fair. But yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a productive, let's do some work day, I think, because today has been quite a lazy Sunday, but I do quite like lazy Sundays. Um, so yeah, so I just filmed a bit about BLT and um, now it's kind of getting on. So we are gonna play a bit of GTA because I've just started playing GTA 5. I've never played it. Yes, I know I'm quite a few years late, but I'm gonna play a bit of that. 
and then I'm not sure I think well the game's on at half eight Callum's a Chelsea supporter so we're gonna watch the football um later on and because we had a late lunch we're gonna have pasta for dinner so we'll have that after the football um and just yeah chill out so that's kind of my evening um I might attempt to start editing this weekly vlog I already feel like it's going to take me a little while so I may have to start that as well at some point but anyway that's kind of like my Sunday relaxed evening approach but anyway so I shall see you in a bit I think yeah, well, I go. So it is Sunday evening, the game is on, I'm editing my vlog on the old computer and we have the game on, we have, um, what is this box called Callum? IPTV. IPTV, we have an IPTV box that we play, um, that we have like channels on, it's kind of like Sky but it has like loads of more channels on, um, so Callum can always watch the Premier League and Champion League games here so that is super helpful. So Chelsea drew, which is not very impressive. West Ham played a good defence. Um, so we watched the game. I'm going to start cooking pasta now. It's like 10 o'clock. We are having a very late dinner today. Um, so I'm going to round off the weekly vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Like, I don't really know if I've filmed enough or filmed too much or if it's actually that interesting. If you have any comments let them me know in the comments below um but if you like this video please make sure you hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up and i shall see you on monday bye